Okay, lovely. So um, following the fantastic theories that have been shared today, like today I'll be trying to share how you can practically use Notion to improve your productivity with templates that are easy to use and simple to understand. Um, so learning productivity and growth have really been um, on the top of my mind. And I, while running two multi-million dollar companies spanning across two continents, and I also manage numerous teams. I've been learning and experimenting many, many ways of how you can uh, motivate ourselves to do more in less time. So a lot of my ideas have been traditionally shared behind closed doors between friends and family, but with some thoughtful encouragement from the community, I actually started uh, sharing my learning online through YouTube videos, uh, blogs, and newsletters. So a short introduction about that. Uh, I'm a creator passionate about uh, tackling global challenges and unleashing breakthroughs. I love to uh, share and co-create with my community whenever I come up with cool new ways to solve everyday challenges. Uh, I really consider it my life's meaning to venture into the chaotic and dark unknown to bring back meaningful and useful applications for us to enjoy. So what you're seeing on my screen now are actually uh, some of my shared frameworks to being highly efficient in Notion exclusively for our community. I do want to say that there's a lot of stuff here. You don't have to adopt 100% of this. I definitely think what you should be doing is chunking, doing small, meaningful steps towards your goal. So first, I kind of want to talk about a uh, productivity uh, mindset or framework about being intentional which is a framework that's been derived from both Para, uh, from the lovely Tiago, as well as also from OKR, Scrum, and just a lot of the various learnings I've had over the past decade, uh, whether it be through MBA courses or stuff like that. Uh, so today I'll be focusing more on the right-hand side of the screen, which are the definite areas of your life. And just a quick introduction to this essentially is, I, I split up your life into three different categories. You have the indefinite areas of your life where you're kind of working on things that don't have an end, and that's very, um, that's exactly directly from Para. But for the definite areas of your life, I like to kind of imagine it as there are specific steps that we have to do, we have specific mindsets we have to put ourselves in to make sure that we get the things that we want to accomplish uh, done and done well. So your goal generally answers the why question, and your goals would have many key results, the outcomes, which answers what. What does it mean for you to succeed in that? For example, if you want to get fit, what does it mean for you to be fit? Uh, does it mean that you have a six pack? Does it mean you can run 10 km? You know, what are the quantifiable and smart uh, measurable outcomes that matter for your goal to make sense? And usually when you're going through this, you're in the founder role. Uh, then I talk about, you know, uh, once you have your key results that you're aiming for, then you start imagining projects. What are the different projects that you're going to start working on to make sure that you achieve that key results? Uh, and you can always keep changing your projects from time to time. They're almost like experiments that you're taking on to make sure that you achieve the goals that you want to achieve. And the second that you find out it doesn't make sense, you probably want to move on to the next one. And finally, you're in your task management. So you're figuring out what specific tasks need to happen for the project to succeed. And usually you're kind of in the project manager mindset when you're going through this kind of um, methodology. So I kind of want to go into the theory of gamification and how this all plays together. So essentially, uh, my idea here is that every action should be gamified with good behavior reliably rewarded and bad behavior reliably disin disincentivized. This can be achieved by introducing concepts found in gaming of experience points and gold rewards. So I just talked about the growth journey, right? You have your goals, your why, your results, your what, projects, tasks, etc. And I assign different experience points values to reward you for doing that um, task. So for example, if you finish a goal, that's a huge win. You know, you should be very happy about that. You should uh, continuously celebrate. If you do uh, certain outcomes that are complete, then they're large experience points. You get a little bit of progress. And for your tasks, then you, know, you work them a little bit over time and you can continuously build up your experience points to make yourself progress in that, uh, in that way. Uh, so, you know, I, I also want to talk about the uh, important things here, whereas the scaling experience points uh, for the size of the task rewards bigger wins. Uh, accumulating experience points level ups your character and having positive multipliers for early completion and negative multipliers for late completion promotes punctuality and breaking down every task into 30 minute chunks and not allowing interruptions promotes perseverance. Um, and I'll show exactly how this all comes to practice, I promise, really soon, right after this section. Uh, one thing I also want to mention is that most of the time you have tasks that are very tedious and you might 
have already forgotten what you're aiming towards. So one thing that's really useful for me in Notion is that I'm able to visualize everything that I'm doing in terms of my progression towards the goal in a very simple and easy to understand manner. And when I'm doing my task, not only do I know why I'm doing it, which is very important when you're actually working in a big team, you know, distributed teams, remote, they don't really know all the uh, all the work and effort you're putting into your task every day, it's, it's useful to know exactly who you're helping, who, who are the happy customers that are, have resulted because of your work, or who in your team you're actually enabling to do more and do better things because you finished your job. So uh, in addition to having those relations, having goal rewards also helps to reward um, uh, the the impact of the task that you've been doing, as well as the timeline that you're supposed to complete it in. And you can earn scaling goal rewards based on that, uh, your punctuality, how important was it, you know, uh, what kind of goal was it going towards, stuff like that. Uh, and of course, if you finish your daily routines and daily tasks, I think this should award goal too. So you're kind of sticking to good habits. So let me introduce to you the gamification project. Uh, essentially, it's a collaborative project that I built for my friends, family, and community to motivate us to live our best life and live a global movement. And it's something I truly believe in. Um, many of you might have already been used to many different habit trackers or let's say Habatica, you know, many, many apps out there that promise to gamify your life and help you assign those experience points or goal values. But I've always found that they're very, you know, uh, they're not customizable. Everyone's life is very different and there's no way that one cookie cutter app can ever solve all your problems. So what really inspired me about Notion and what made me build all this was that I can change anything I want. I wanna add more characters, I can do that. I wanna add my family members, I wanna add my relatives, I want to add my companies. You know, I have you know, another separate leaderboard for my company where I have over 20 people in this and we can all see our progression, what we've been working on, what we've recently finished, you know, uh, what levels are we, so there's some friendly office competition. And it really becomes a whole way for us to um, be social about our productivity. And my, my take on that is we currently spend so much time on our mobile phones uh, playing uh, you know, games. And the games have almost ingrained in them a psychology about how you can continuously make you log in every single day for daily rewards, uh, be able to feel happy about doing meaningless tasks, you know, grinding various you know, uh, training. And for me, I, I rather think about it as what if I can make my life a productivity, uh, my life into a game? How can I live my life every day fulfilling quests? How can I make my daily habits into maintenance? You know, how can I make it so that all the things that I've grown up with, you know, gaming and um, this, these kind of uh, micro transactions or micro attention seeking, um, how can I make that into productivity? And this is exactly the template that's been able to do that. So. Um, I'm going to go into this a bit. So you see that uh, right now I set up an avatar for you guys and essentially you guys are level eight. Congratulations. You've earned 325 experience points and you have a gold balance of 70. And I'll talk a bit more about what gold can be spent on later. But essentially what I've built here is that I have created a uh, a core views. Uh, essentially it's a screen where I'm able to derive all my different um, templates and tables into one place. And you see that on my on deck essentially contains everything I have to do to achieve my goals. And if I go into on deck, you'll see that I have, uh, you know, many things that are concentrated on what are the things I need to do on a day by day basis so I can focus on executing and not be distracted with planning. So I'm going to talk about uh, the goals first. And you'll see that if I expand the goals, uh, as an example, I have all my areas laid out, you know, I care about lifestyle, I care about health, I care about mindset, finances, travel, knowledge, family, sharing, etc. And I can see that this uh, is one of my goals for uh, Q1 2020. And these are one of my key results to complete 80% of my tasks on time. You'll see that immediately that my, um, this is a huge win. This is just one of my indicators for that. It's something that I have to finish in Q1 and it's a high impact value. And this is the power of Notion being able to surface uh, values like that. If I open it up, actually you can see that these are all just values that are shown here. And this is the goal that I should always be looking at that I'm focusing on to make sure I'm doing uh, for, uh, I'm focusing on this quarter. I can switch to quarter two. Uh, I can see all the things that I'm working on there. I want to build stronger family bonds, for example, having close bonds between siblings. Again, is a huge win, but semi-high priority. And you can sort by different priority levels and impact levels, uh, depending on uh, your 
how many goals, how ambitious do you want to be for success plan, so to speak? Uh, you can keep going Q2, Q3, but uh, what essentially I want to show is that they link directly to your key results. So if I have my um, mindset goal of being able to focus on tasks, I have my key result of being able to complete 80% of my tasks on time. It's a big win, as I mentioned, it's scaling, right? Uh, but the idea is that a key result, if you achieve an outcome, it should already be uh, quite um, rewarding for you to finish all that. So you don't need to reward yourself too much, not with gold at least. Uh, so you see that this is your success plan. This is for your key results. I also have all my projects that are currently in uh, progress are ready to start all showing up. And finally, I have my tasks. So these are my daily execution items, right? And I kind of sort them out as quests. So it makes it very easy for me to see at any moment, what do I have to work on? What, what dates should I have been working them on by? And you can easily see if I change the dates, my, um, my punctuality uh, calculator changes as well. Let's say it's up in seven days. Now it'll be down here and it says three days to go. Um, I also have uh, different statuses on ready to start, if it's starting already, and I have a backlog as well is that if I can pull up items from my task list, uh, what should I be working on next? And of course, a gold value, which is automatically calculated depending on how much time I expect to spend on it. So I set a difficulty level of two and I expect it to take 25 minute chunks of time. So it's all in total, one hour of time that I should be finishing this item by. So this is how I can keep track of all the things I'm doing in my day to make sure that I'm progressing towards the goals that I'm trying to accomplish in the bigger uh, grand scheme of things. Um, I also want to say that, you know, uh, the, the importance of having the views like this is that you're able to do anything you want. Let's say you don't want to see your key results or your quest in a list. Let's say you want to see them in a calendar. With Notion, you can do that very, very easily. So for me, the beauty of having this kind of setup done this way is that you can be able to personalize it so much that it's completely up to you what you want to see, when you want to see, and how you want to see it. And I think this combined with the theories that have been talked about earlier, this is exactly the way that you should be able to uh, hyper grow your um, your Hello, Where are you going? Uh, so I, I do want to also uh, share a bit about, you know, uh, this is just a bit of the templates I have. Uh, essentially, uh, this is a um, template suites of all the different templates that I've been working on and constantly working on. Uh, we just released two more modules, uh, finance tracker and time boxing schedules uh, just last week. And there's many more expected in the weeks to come. I really hope that you can learn from our labor and drastically improve your workspace. Uh, and if you do like to support us, please do drop by the Coach 3 community. <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> you can check that out at x3.conradlin.com and you can find all the fun things like uh, gamification. You can find, you know, keeping, stay in touch with your mentors, your friends, your family, uh, having reflections. Uh, those are really cool stuff as well. Um, I have a YouTube channel as well. You can check that out. And uh, yeah, I hope you do learn something from this and uh, really the sky's the limit uh, with this tool. And if you have the right framework, you can really do just about anything. Thanks for watching.